as you go for your daily walk or your drive to work, as you accompany your child to school, as you go for a run at the park, or as you do the washing up, shop for your groceries, talk to a friend, or eat a piece of fruit, as you cycle in the forest, have a swim in the sea, or watch the setting sun. What happens when you start paying much closer attention, being a bit more mindful of each of your life's moments? What do you notice as you strive for a little more presence each day, as you practice sharpening your senses, as you learn how to quiet your mind? What shift takes place inside of you when you keep redirecting your focus to the here and now? What do you see in everything and everywhere when you're fully there? The answer to this question might not be easily conveyed into words. Perhaps only the greatest artist can come closer to expressing it. William Blake's words come to mind here. To see a world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wild flower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. As you practice presence more and more, you'll start to notice all the patterns, currents, vibrations and rhythms in your life. And as you notice them within, you will also notice them without. You'll realize the way in which the outside world is a reflection of your inner world. As within, so without. You'll start to see these patterns everywhere, inside of you and outside of you. You'll start to be more aware of how you tend to be swept away by certain currents or how you tend to resonate with certain frequencies, certain ways of being. As you pay closer attention, the synchronicity between the currents you feel within your inner world and the patterns which seem to take place in your outer world will become more and more apparent. As you immerse yourself in deeper and deeper levels of awareness, you'll start to become more familiar with all the intricate patterns and rhythms of existence, the different types of vibrations of the universe, the unmistakable currents and swirls in your own life. You're right at the center of your experience. It all starts within you, right here, right now. Notice the way growth looks like. Notice the way wisdom takes shape. Notice the pattern of decay. Notice the flow in the cracks on the pavement. The way that pain dries. The intricate pattern on tree bark. Transformation of a flower. The intricate folds on your hand's skin. The cracks on a tile surface. The bending of light on a droplet of water. The waves, twists and curls on your child's hair. Notice the fractals everywhere, from trees to vegetables to snowflakes to the shoreline. Notice the spiraling shape of a DNA molecule or the spiraling force of a hurricane, the movement curves of matter under gravity, the sound patterns in a bird's song, the myriad of colors and strokes on a beautiful painting. All of these you can touch, hear or see. You can sense them, but perhaps this is just the most external layer, one possible physical manifestation of the universe's internal world, of your internal world. Only the small fraction which we can measure, the external shell of a much larger and deeper reality, which cannot possibly be quantified. After all, how does one measure all the individual and collective currents of anger, the flows of joy, the winds of loneliness, the swirls of helplessness, or the mountains of grief. What are these inner and outer patterns, these inner and outer rhythms and currents and swirls? How do they arise? What do they mean? What is their purpose? Feel, notice, connect, listen, above all, Listen to all that comes to you without words. The patterns we can measure, we call them laws of nature, the encoding of life, natural selection, conservation of energy, and so on. We see them as laws, rule sets, blueprints or principles. 
but ultimately this is just our way of talking about it, our interpretation and rationalization of the patterns and tendencies that our universe feels and experiences. Some patterns seem to last for billions of years, others mere fractions of a second. In reality, nothing is set in stone. It's all a continuous dance. It's all just temporary swirls in the field of experience itself. Swirls and currents, patterns, habits, tendencies, ways of being, ways of experiencing, ways of vibrating, ways of manifesting, ways of evolving. Externally, the patterns may show us geometry, as mesmerizing shapes, forms and figures, or as ways of movement in matter like curves, flows, currents, whirlpools or swirls. Internally, they are existence ways of being, exploring and experiencing. They are the universe dancing. They are felt as vibrations or rhythms, as pulls and pushes. They are the universe's different ways of experiencing itself, through the palm of your hand, a wildflower or a grain of sand. They are the universe's habits, tendencies and explorations, the universe's different lenses and perspectives, the universe's different ways of feeling and being. Right now, from your perspective, it's all experienced within you, through you, from you, as you. What happens when you start to challenge your current narrative as you aim to widen your perspective? When you learn to quiet your mind, let go and start to listen, properly listen, to that which comes to you without words. As you expand your awareness, you'll become more familiar with the nature of your own personal whirlpools, the nature of the pulls and pushes, the vibrational patterns you find yourself immersed in at each moment, the currents and habits you tend to fall into, you will notice more and more the interconnectedness of it all, between individual and collective, between inner and outer, between the way the currents feel inside and the way the patterns tend to manifest outside. You'll start to see that in a synchronistic world, cause and effect are actually a bit muddled, that the difference between inner and outer is not as clear-cut as you once thought, that meaningfulness somehow connects it all, you'll realize that you're a very active participant in the individual and collective creation of this world, that the feedback loops never end. This deeper awareness goes beyond words and beyond logic. It is intuitively felt and sensed. It is directly known. Quiet your mind and listen. Just listen. The world you experience is a delightful dance between movement and stillness, between simplicity and complexity, between silence and expression, between expansion and contraction, between attraction and repulsion, between resonance and dissonance, between creativity and determinacy, between growth and stagnation, between life and death. Externally, the patterns and currents can be observed, interpreted and shared. Internally, they are felt and sensed. They are ineffably experienced. Each day, as you go about your daily life, strive to be more aware of all the currents and patterns. Not just the ones you can see with your eyes. Not just the ones you can hear with your ears or the ones you can touch with your hands. Notice the patterns and currents of your thoughts and emotions. What swirls and whirlpools do you tend to fall in? What currents do you often feel trapped into? Notice how all these internal swirls tend to manifest externally in your own life, from health to money to relationships. What are the patterns and currents you are immersed into right now? Can you see that they are not permanent traps, but just temporary flows you feel swept into? Temporary ways of feeling and thinking, temporary ways of being, temporary ways of vibrating. We often feel trapped in a particular swirl or current. And what we do is fight it. We just keep fighting it and fight it even more. And the more we fight it, the stronger the current seems to become. 
Maybe we find ourselves trapped in a pattern of frustration or anger at someone or a situation we find ourselves in. Or we might feel trapped in a strong feeling of a scarcity of time, scarcity of money or scarcity of power to create meaningful change. Perhaps we find ourselves trapped in a downward spiraling dip in our health. We feel trapped in emotional and physical pain or in a strong habit of believing that we're not enough, that we're fundamentally lacking in some way or another. Or perhaps we tend to feel swept away by uncomfortable currents of anxiety and fear. As we practice mindfulness more and more, and our awareness of the true nature of all these currents increases, our ability to accept them, as well as our ability to become free of them, increases exponentially. We can start by asking ourselves some simple questions. How can I transition to the healthiest, most nourishing path right now? Is it by offering total resistance to this uncomfortable current I find myself in? Is it by swimming upstream against the current itself? Is it by swimming sideways, perpendicularly to the current? Is it by being mad at the current, by punching the current? Is it by staying in the current, offering no resistance while at the same time believing I will be stuck in it forever? Is it by giving up all hope and finally allowing myself to drown in the current? Is it by letting go of my resistance while trusting I'll float, allowing the current to take me further down and see what happens? Is it by holding the vision and trust that the current will naturally fork out and eventually might even dissipate and transform into something else? The truth is, there is no right or wrong answer. Perhaps this is what life is all about. Half of our life is spent fighting all these currents. The other half spent understanding their origin, their true nature, and eventually letting go of our fight. True magic happens when we start to develop an awareness and an understanding that most of the patterns and strong currents which appear to be externally caused are deep down the manifestation of internal currents experienced at an individual or at a collective level. Isn't precisely this the nature of a participatory, interconnected universe? Freedom always starts within us, with a new awareness of all the swirls and distortions in our own perception and memories, a new awareness of the unhealthy patterns in our own lives and the unhealthy patterns of our earlier generations, a new awareness of the blinding currents in our belief systems and realizing, knowing that, from awareness and recognition of our own patterns and tendencies, which exist inextricably linked to the patterns and tendencies we perceive around us, because we are it, change can then take place. Sometimes freedom comes by simply letting go, by surrendering and following the path of least resistance, we die into that moment, while knowing this moment will pass. We learn to be patient, to wait for those forks in the river, for potentiality to arise. Other times it might be wiser to seek change by actively visualizing, then purposely creating a brand new current, a brand new whirlpool, a new lens, a new way of being, and totally immersing ourselves in it. This new lens will colour the patterns that appear as our external world. This new lens will be the whirlpool that manifests the universe we experience. Let's choose our lens wisely. <laughs>